guys, so today we're going to be doing something a little different than what we have been doing for the past few days. We're going to be coding Minecraft. Seriously, Minecraft. So, um, we, we are supposed to start with the Minecraft Adventurer. Um, but the Minecraft Designer is going to be, um, um, from my perspective, it's a better way to learn. So we'll start with that. Mm. So I just want you to note that every day I'll only be making one of these Minecraft episodes because, um, or maybe I might make one like every two days. So, yeah. Okay, let's see what this says. The chicken is frozen. Please move and turn blocks in the wind spawn slot. To get it moved. To get it to move. Okay. Chicken went spawn. Um. Turn right. Turn left. Okay. Let's see what this says. So that puzzle, what it just made us do, was it made us make the chicken um, move so that it seemed like a real game. But that's not really how chickens move. Because, like, if you have ever played real Minecraft, which I have, um, you would see that whenever you see chickens, they move forever. So let's see. Great, the chicken moved, but then she stopped. It games chickens will walk forever. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Use a forever do loop to keep these chickens moving. So what this wants us to do is use a forever do loop so that um, we can save time and it becomes easier for us to code. So forever do, um, we want to move forward, turn left, and turn right. Okay, let's run, let run and see how. Um, I wouldn't say that was really realistic either. So we'll see what this gives us for our, for our puzzles. Um. Okay, this says, now the chickens look weird moving the same way. Games use random moves to make things look real. Make the chickens turn random. Okay, forever do. Move forward. Turn random. So what this wants us to do is pretty much the same thing as the last puzzle, but it wants us to make it a little more realistic by making them turn random instead of us telling them which way to turn. So, run. As you can see now, it's not like they're all following the same commands. They're all, like, going a different way. So, yeah. Okay. So, puzzle four. Um, we're not going to use the video. Okay, now we have to choose characters. So, you can choose whatever character you want, but for now, I'll choose Steve. Okay, um, let's see. Let's explore our world. Move with the arrows and press the space bar or tap the game board to use items. Use the door to get inside the house. Okay, so this is pretty much what we will be coding. Um, it's just giving us a preview, so let's go. Run. So, I just wanted to say that you can either use these arrow keys or the arrow keys on your keyboard. If you're, um, on mobile, you can just, uh, you can only use those arrow keys, so I'm sorry. So, let's see, what have we got? Okay, it says, in Minecraft, sheep drop wool. Place the drop block in when used. Then walk over and use the sheep to drop an item. Okay. So, what we're have, gonna have to do is 
I'll make the sheep um drop wool. So what we're gonna do is sh sheep when used we want them to drop wool. Okay, let's go ahead to the sheep and use it. As you can see, we got wool. So this is like um this is not as hard as our projects big projects that we've been doing for our past few videos um this is very good for practicing your coding and i recommend it if you're like a novice coder and trying to learn the projects that i'm making you should also check the hour of code out because um you can't just like always like just make projects um you have to practice with these as well so yeah so let's go click continue okay six puzzle okay it says these cows are lost lead them to the grass with the move a step toward block in a forever do loop okay so what we wanted to do is cow when spawned we wanted to forever do do a step to or um toward player yes so come on come here come where i am yeah you need the grass come on as you can see i made them follow me so that they would go into the grass um so what that basically was was it was trying it was like it wanted us to make them um pretty much lead them to the grass so that they're not lost so seventh one okay it says the path to your sheep is blocked by a stone wall luckily there's a creeper here creepers explode after you touch them get the creeper to explode the wall so you can reach your sheep um yeah sure so what we want to do is people when touched yes that's what we want to do um yeah so let's just see what happens As you can see, it actually didn't create a way for us. So what we want you what we want to do is when the creep responds, we want it to move towards the wall. So where what we have to do is I believe move forward. Oh no. Um okay so not move forward but we want him to turn left move forward move forward move forward turn to the right um Move forward. Move forward. So let's see. Um. My like, wow, this, it's really hard to see. So I say four, I think. Okay, now. I gotta go explode him. We have made it to the sheep now. So that's our seventh puzzle completed.